Hi everybody, this is Lisa with Essential Life Naturals and I've got a really quick video that I want to do for you today. Um, I thought I'd give you another kind of fun idea for a Christmas gift because Christmas is coming up and um, if you're like me maybe you want to do something that's fun and original and doesn't cost a lot of money and um, if you're giving to people that already have everything, especially parents sometimes, a lot of uh, older people just they don't really want things they don't really need things to put around their house so I like to give food gifts I think they're kind of fun and um, this one in particular is one of my mom's favorites and so I'm gonna share it with you it's super easy it doesn't take much time okay um, what I'm gonna make today is actually a dried soup mix and it's from scratch um, and it's really easy and it's something that's really great to have on hand if you're making a soup and you just want to grab a handful and throw it into the pot or stew or chili or whatever you know casserole that you have um, it really basically it's just uh, dried vegetables and some seasonings and some dried herbs so to get started what I did is I went to the store and I bought a pack of um, stir-fry vegetables and I think this was like three dollars and fifty five cents it was completely full to the top and it was a combination of green and red peppers broccoli and onion and I think that's it um, so two peppers, onion, broccoli, and then you can also add mushrooms, which is really good. And um, what I did is I took out three dehydrator trays that look like this. And if you have a dehydrator, they might look, yours might look like this or it might be round. Um, and that's whatever kind of dehydrator works. Um, so what I did is it actually filled up three different trays. So it, it was a lot of vegetables. And I um, stuck it into my dehydrator last night and I ran the thing all through the night. And this morning I came out and it was pretty funny actually because they had shrunk down to where they were just minuscule because all the water is gone and so they're pretty tiny and so all that big huge bag of vegetables um, really actually yielded about two cups um, but what's really interesting about this is that um, they are so packed with flavor um, because they're all of the water is out of them so to be honest, you can actually just eat the dried vegetables as a snack and it would be great just to put out as a, in a dish and have your family just grab it. Like the dried broccoli and the peppers are really, really yummy just to chew on. So just that by itself was good. Uh, what I did is I put it into a measuring cup and then I just added into this some um, minced garlic, which I had on hand. And I thought that's always good in soup. You know, if you're making any kind of soup or stew, you always want garlic. So I put about a tablespoon of that into this mixture. And I had um, in my cupboard, I had some sun-dried tomatoes, which was just basically the small cherry tomatoes. I had some left over and I dehydrated those. So you can see what those look like. They're just, these are two stuck together. It looks like glasses. Um, <laughs> but anyway, again, really good very very tasty and flavorful so i just took a handful of those and i put them in my um my mixture here and then i also had some italian parsley left over and so when you buy a big bunch of parsley like this if you're like me you're you're going to use it once and then it's going to go icky and you're going to have to throw it away or give it to the chickens um what i do is i just um once i use what i need then i stick it on a dehydrator sheet and I throw it in the dehydrator and the next morning I've got dry parsley. So I stick that in a jar and I use it when I'm cooking next time, which is great. So um, I happen to have some Italian parsley. So I just took a, a handful of that and I sprinkled that into this dish as well. Probably about maybe, I don't know, quarter of a cup. And um, you really can add whatever you want to this. I mean, you could add... Um, you could add regular parsley, you could add cilantro, you know, whatever kind of flavors that you really want. I just, I'm doing something kind of a little bit probably more Italian flair. Um, you know, so if I'm doing like a beef soup, I think that would be really good. But if you wanted to do something more Southwestern, you could do peppers and onions and you could do chilies. Um, you could do cilantro. So, you know, you can just be creative and really there's no recipe. So it's easy. So once I have it, I have it dried and I have it mixed up. Um, all I'm going to do is pour this into a jar that I have and try not to spill it all. And um, put a lid on it and you can put a tag around it, put directions or whatever. And really, you know, like I said, myself and my mom and friends that I have, um, 
we just use this, keep it by, you know, keep it in our cupboard by the stove and when we're cooking and you want to add a handful, just add a handful to whatever soup or casserole that you're making. And once they rehydrate it, I mean, one, probably a small handful is going to make an entire, probably cup and a half of vegetables in your final product. So, um, so that's a really fun idea. It's great for Christmas, great for teachers. You know, it's something original, it's healthy, it's easy, and it doesn't cost much at all. So I hope you try it and enjoy it and um, have fun. Be healthy. God bless.